Hello, everyone. And I'm very sorry I have to po post this late, but anyways, today we're going to see what happens when you put a foreign disc into a Wii U, which is over there. See that blue light? That's the Wii U. And I have to record on the t t phone because I can't record on my mom's phone because she's sleeping right now. So that's why I have to, and this is my very first time doing a foreign disc video at 4 a.m. in the morning. So I have to do this quick and just ignore those play connects. So okay, I'll throw it out after I make this video. So anyways, I got Nintendo, Xbox, including a new Xbox One game. Yep, which is under the Wii games. I will not know why it was under there. That's a new Xbox One game. And include the same PS3 ga game from the last Born Disc video. And then some new things, including the same VHS tape. And I added a new music CD and the same digital copy disc and a 4K Blu-ray and HD DVD to test out. So anyways, first of all, let's show you that this works. Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. Hold on, I gotta grab the Wii remote. Oh, sorry, just ignore that. That was my cat almost tripped. Very sorry. Yeah, we got it. So the Mario Kart 8 game works. And sorry if you can hear some fan noise in here because it gets hot. Yeah, we got it. So the Mario Kart 8 game works. I'm not going to do any gameplay because it's just going to take too much time if I play a game. Play the thing. I'm going to eject the disc now. Yeah, Wii U games obviously work. I also have more Wii U games too. And I'm very sorry if there's no cover and I'm sorry the case is not in the best condition. Oh, sorry about that. Just ignore that. That that my cat fell down on the box. Just ignore that. So, anyways, I got a Wii game. Last up for the Nintendo section, I have is a Wii game, Cars Race Orama. And yeah, that's that. That's my cat right there on the ground. Let's test out the Wii game, Cars Race Orama for the Wii. That's my cat. She like. Fell down on the floor. Are you okay there? Yeah. I think she's going to be okay. And her foot hurts, actually. This is a Luigi Wii remote, by the way. Just ignore that. That's the cat hissing. I'm very sorry. I apologize. Let's, what should we do? Should I do TV only or TV and gamepad? Let's go with TV and gamepad. And this is my very first time doing a foreign disc video at 4 a.m. in the morning. And over there, that's an Xbox Series S, but that has no disc drive, so sadly I can't do a foreign disc video because it's the digital Xbox, Xbox Series S. Okay, we get Wii Menu. And sorry, the gamepad. Yeah, we go. There we go. The Wii game works. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show you the startup. I'm not gonna show you the opening logos because it will just just take too much time of the video. So that's why I'm not gonna show the opening logos. And when I would try to record the video, the TV had some like. G major color for some reason. 
had like G major color for some reason last when I did it try to record a video and like did a G major. Yep, I had to go back to the Wii menu to test out the rest of the games. Alright. So anyways, that's it for the Nintendo. Now let's get on to Xbox. So first the Xbox 360 game. Spider-Man Web of the Shadows. And I show you this on my last foreign disc video. Okay, so it came up with invalid disc. It says this disc cannot be read. Please press the eject button to remove the disc and check the label side by side, but I'm not going to read the rest of it. Because it's just going to take too much time in the video, so I'm just going to be like, go quick on these stuff. I'm doing this kind of things. So last but not least for the Xbox section, we have is Halo Legends, a new Xbox One game to test out. Halo Master Chief Collection. It's actually not Halo Legends. I meant to say Halo Master Chief Collection for the Xbox One. Even though I do have an Xbox right there, but it has no disk drive. So sadly, I can't play disk games or play even to do like DVD openings on it either. Okay, so it came up with the invalid disc. Same with the Xbox 360. I'm not going to read it because it's just going to take too much time and I want to get through this video very quick. And it's under 7 minutes right now. So yeah. Okay, that's it for the Xbox. Now let's go on to PlayStation, the only PS3 game. Since I don't have PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 4. Or five. So anyways, I have Saints Row 4 National Treasure Edition for the PS3, and it's part of the Greatest Hits series. And I don't really have a PS3. I used to have one back in the day, but I, I don't have one anymore. Okay, so it came up with invalid disc. Same with Xbox 360 and Xbox One. So... PS3 games don't work, and I'm sorry I have to hold a Wii remote because I'm doing it for the video so I can, can control it with the TV. And I'm very sorry for if it was bad quality, but, it has, but that's alright. Okay, now it's on to media. That's it for PlayStation. Now it's on to the media, so I got a new DVD to, to, to test out. Adventure Time and Friends. Alright, for DVD. Okay, so it came up with an invalid disc. Same with PS. I'm at same with Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PS3. So DVDs don't work. How about an HD DVD? We Are Marshall. This also has the DVD DVD side, but I'm going to use the HD DVD side, which is the main side. Okay, so it came up with invalid disc. Same with Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, and a normal DVD. So, so, HD DVDs don't work. How about let's test out a Blu-ray. I, I meant to do a 4K Blu-ray, but I'm going to do it after. The Angry Birds movie, the Blu-ray. This also comes with a DVD, but I'm just going to use the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray disc. The one that has artwork. And hopefully this can still work when I get a Blu-ray player. I probably don't need the controller for this. So, yeah.
Okay, so it came up with an invalid disc. Same with Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, a normal DVD, and HD, and an HD DVD. So Blu-rays don't work. If you want to go see my DVD opening of the Angry Birds movie, go check it out. I made it back in October of 2022, which was last year. So anyways, I got a 4K Blu-ray, Spider-Man Homecoming. This also comes with a normal Blu-ray, but I'm just going to use the 4K Blu-ray disc. And I also have the movie on DVD, so just to let you know. Hopefully I can do the DVD opening sometime soon. Because the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, is coming this week. Hope you guys are excited about that. So anyways, it just came up with an invalid disc. Same with the Xbox 360, Xbox One, um, um, PS3, PS3, a normal DVD, an HD DVD, and the normal Blu-ray disc. So, 4K Blu-rays don't work. Sadly, I don't have Blu-ray 3D for some reason. So anyways, now let's do a music CD, a new music CD, The Wedding Singer Volume 2. This was actually my mom's CD, not mine's. It's actually my mom's CD. But she had it for a very long time. Okay, Invalid Disc. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I accidentally tripped over my cat. It's my other one. I actually have two cats, actually. Now let's see if this digital copy disc works. Lemonade Mouth Extended Edition for the digital copy. And I'm very sorry I have to record this late. I don't really usually record videos at this time. So anyways, it came with an invalid disc. Same with Xbox 360, Xbox One. PS3, a normal DVD, HD DVD, um, a normal Blu-ray disc, a 4K Blu-ray, and a music CD, so they don't work. And last but not least is a VHS tape, Toy Story. Yep, they're too big, so VHS tapes don't work. So anyways... I have a VHS player, so so I have one. It's in the upstairs with the TV. Okay, let's try and put this stuff back where it was so we can end the video. Okay, anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So if you have enjoyed this foreign disc video at 4 a.m. in the morning, make sure to like the video comment down below share the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and click the notification bell icon for new videos that will be posted really really soon so anyways this is me signing off and peace out bye